Hey yo, this is Dash. This is Taste Tester number two Hello. and Taste Tester number three. I know you guys haven't seen them in a while, right? It's yeah. been a while. It's been, it's been a while. Oh. So, I have something new that we are going to try. We are going to try, this is a South African cured beef stick. And we have South African, this is biltong, okay? And drawers, which are cured beef sticks. So I ordered this from Biltong USA, not sponsored, hashtag not sponsored. But, so I heard Trevor Noah talking about this Biltong. And he talked about the Biltong, about how it was so much better than how we eat beef jerky. So I went out and I ordered it. Hey, yo, this is Dash. Get ready. So I didn't know what I was ordering, so I just ordered like a bunch of it. So I ordered almost everything that I could. <laughs> I wanted to try it all. So we have spicy garlic, garlic. So we have spicy garlic. Biltong slice. We have this is spicy peri peri. I don't think I ordered peri peri. Original. And we have smoked. So we're gonna we're gonna try it. Am I, am I keeping you awake? I don't know what it is. I just got the yarns. All right. So we have the biltong, which is sliced beef meat, and then we have these. And someone can can correct me. Drawers. Dro drawers? How would you say that? Knuckle, I don't want to question. D R O and there's an E W O R S. Well, there's Drawers. There's an action. Yeah, there's there's, an there's a on the E. It's, it's not an umlaut. There's there's a symbol over it. I'm not sure which one it is. But we have spicy and original. So which do you want to try first? You want to try the? Oh. No, we're gonna try an original first. We're gonna try the sliced or the sticks. Which one do you want to try first? Sliced. What about you? Sliced. Oh, All right. Biltong. Biltong. You can thank Trevor Noah and also Taylor. Uh, Taylor, oh man, I got a whiff of it. All right. Oh. <laughs> it's strong, but it doesn't it's smell different. I know, that was on purpose. All right, here, which one? Uh, this one. No, I don't Okay. All right. Not bad. Yeah, right? That's good. You want another piece? No. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. That one is pretty good. It tastes like jerky. I mean, I definitely equate that to jerky. It's not a hot taste mm -hmm. or anything. I don't know what the flavor is. Virginia. Hmm. No, I'm saying what the flavor that is in it is. So it says beef salt flavorings, vinegar, and raisin juice concentrate. Interesting. Whoops. It's okay. All right. So, you want to try the sticks? And we're going to save the sticks for later. All right. Spicy, spicy garlic, or smoked? Smoked. I feel like that will have a really, I don't know what to call it, but it'll have a different taste. <laughs> All right. So, this says beef, salt, flavorings, vinegar, raisin juice concentrate, and liquid smoke. Yeah. I kind of ruined it for me, yeah, I too. Yeah, I thought it was going to actually be smoky. Oh. What's it smell? Oh, it smells like... It smells barbecue smoky, sauce. yeah. Yeah, it smells like something that was just finished being smoked. It smells like barbecue sauce. All right. Here's a piece for oh, you. Oh, the original, the original smelled pretty good. It smelled like 
Normal mm. beef jerky, by the way. Okay, I need mm. a little piece. This one, I want more. You want more of that one? Mm. Mine's black. Mine's is simply black. Mm. You didn't like that one? No. I thought it could be way better. So, the what's smell, funny? The smell is good, but the, the like texture. I didn't get here, a Here, here, try a different flavor. piece. Here, put the one here. If you don't like it. Still no? Yeah, that's <laughs> okay. not. Okay. All right, <laughs> so, so the smoke, it does have a smoke flavor, but mm. I don't know. It's, it's, and I don't know if it's the the smoke flavor itself. It actually says it's natural hickory smoke flavor. I mean, that whatever. That was a good snack. So you like that one? Yeah. All right. I put it with some cheese or something. Yeah, and some pick. Oh, pickled onions. I don't like those. Watch one of the previous videos. <laughs> if you haven't seen the pickled onion video, it'll be right up there. <laughs> Thank you. I wasn't even gonna plug it, but since you so eloquently. All right, so this one is spicy garlic. So this says uh, beef, salt flavorings, vinegar, raisin juice concentrate, and garlic. It says that we have to refrigerate these after opening. Well, that's not garlic. What? Come back it over here. Like, it smells like sausage. Oh, it's garlic. It's, yeah, it smells like it's garlic. garlic. <laughs> yes. It is garlic. Oh, wow. All right. There you go. One for you. One for you. Thank you. And some for me. This one, I really like it. it yeah. Like... Oh, I can tell. <laughs> yeah, it got a little hot. <laughs> Sorry. It did get spicy. Um, it's not that spicy though. It's not like it's just lingering in my mouth. Yeah, it's like and the hit is all at the same time. Mm. I don't like that one. No. Why are you using a bowl? Because there's no cups. It doesn't matter. <laughs> you want another piece of this one? Um. No. No, let's go have more to try. Wait, if that was. This is spicy garlic. Yeah, it's been spicy curry. Yeah. Curry, curry. Curry, curry. Where's pepper? It's a specific type of uh, seasoning. Okay. So this says uh, beef vinegar contains two percent or less of spice, so spices, salt, raisin juice, concentrate, and flavorings. The garlic wasn't bad. Yeah, it wasn't bad. It's like it, it tastes more spicy than a day garlic. I mean, I almost definitely smoked the garlic, but I tasted it. You want to try this one too or no? Yeah. Yeah, all right. What do you smell? I don't know. Yeah. Oh, you know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of the dry, the um, the beef jerky. When we did the super hot beef jerky. Yeah. Oh, it's so bad, bro. That's what that smell reminds me of. I'm not eating that because that no, 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 messed me up. <laughs> <laughs> that beef right, jerky messed me up. No. Okay. No. Okay. Okay. I don't care. It's not spicy. Do you think it's spicy? Yeah, I haven't got any spice either. The spicy garlic was spicier than, than this one. It's so spicy. This one's good. You like that one too? It's kind of like the smoke. Mm -mm. Mm. The smoke, for me, for some reason, the smoke was just really waxy. Yeah. My favorite was the original. Okay. You got a cup? <laughs> you just didn't look for one. Oh. There was big cups in the back. I didn't want a big cup. I just wanted those small cups. Thank you. Oh. But, we're working on the other side. All right, come on. Um, so, last thing. 
There's the sticks. Yeah, it looks like it. Oh my. Alright. Oh. Oh. Mm. It smells like nothing. Okay, so this says beef, vinegar, salt, coriander, black pepper, nutmeg, clove, in the lamb casing. It's the nutmeg and the clove you guys don't like. It's um. It's really, it's really chewy and it's really hard. Yeah, it's not I hard. Thought, I thought there was cheese in the in the middle. I got no, like. No, I'm talking about the outside. It's like really hard. It's oh, the that's the lamb casing. Lamb. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. It's fine here. I like it. Little bulky. Stop it. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's herby, very herby. The yeah. nutmeg and the clove, it's different. And it, I feel like, um, I feel like, you know what, I feel like I'm eating like a sweet potato pudding or a sweet potato, you know, like something sweet potato with a nutmeg in it. And this one is spicy peri peri. So, so this is the same, chili pepper, coriander, black pepper, nutmeg, oh, clove, chill. and the lamb casing. So. I don't like eating the lamb casing, but I really do like it. Okay. You don't want the lamb casing? Yeah, I don't. All right. So, been having some technical difficulties with the camera for whatever reason. The, for whatever reason, the battery, it died faster than it should have. But, so we tasted all of them, and unfortunately, if you missed some of that, I'm sorry. But, um, test test number three, and taste, taste test number two, we did not like the cured beef sticks nearly as much as we thought we would. And I think the major, major reason as to why we didn't like them, they didn't like them especially, they have nutmeg and clove in them it's clove is definitely something like a it's a herby something that it, it, it's a spice that you kind of have to you love it or hate it uh the original also has the clove in it the only difference between the spicy and the original as far as the the, the pure beef sticks cured beef sticks is the spicy has some chili pepper in it i didn't taste much chili pepper and to me the chili pepper took away from the flavor of the original where it, it tasted like I tasted the clover I tasted it, it it says coriander clover black pepper nutmeg I tasted all of those things and the spicy took away from that now as far as the biltong the sliced biltong which is it's very similar to jerky the only difference is I guess in the way that it's seasoned but it's probably dried out the scent you know same or similar way taste is number two and I really like the spicy garlic and and the excuse me, any original, where taste system number three preferred the smoke and the spicy. So if we had to do, well, not if we had to do something like this again, but you would eat, like, if I ordered some of this again, would you, would you um, eat it, or? Most definitely the original. Yeah. If you got I, the original again, I would eat I it. like the original most, too. But I don't like this one. And you like this one. Well, there's two pounds of the smoke, or, um, or, is, there is a pound of the smoke, so 16 ounces of the smoke, and then half a pound of, of everything else. I was trying to get the smallest thing, smallest sampling size that I could get. So, yeah. But this stuff, you know, gluten-free, no MSG, no sodium nitrates. These all seem to be pretty natural as far as like a snack. But if you guys have had Biltong before, comment below. Now, I know there's one of you guys who, out there who has had Biltong, and that's Taylor. And he told me, he's like, you know, it's kind of hard to explain, but you got to try it. So I did. After that last live stream, I went and ordered it, and it showed up to my doorstep today. Today is a Monday. So, but, I mean, this was pretty cool. I mean, I'm, I'm not a fan of this spicy one. 
So I don't quite know what we're gonna do with that. I think I figured out how to pronounce it. How? Dero Morse. What? What? There's no M. Oh, I thought there was an M. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was upside down for me. Anyway, <laughs> thank you, thank you for helping me. All right, all right. You wanna, you wanna tell them bye? And all right, come on. Whoa, wait, wait. Before you do that, hey, look, guys. Down below is listed the peel box. If you want to send us something to try, a sauce, a seasoning, some jerky, feel free, something funny, something for us to try, send it to the peel box below. It's always listed in the description. What? Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. Join us on Wednesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern. We go live for two hours. In the first hour, we talk about barbecue or something barbecue business related. The second hour, come as you please and bring your flesh. And we talk about anything. And then we talk about anything. All right, well not her, but me. So. Sometimes you know. I peek. Again. Yes, you do. So you want to tell them thank thank them again for watching. Thank you again for watching. And we'll see you. Oh, I'm sorry. And please do subscribe, and we'll see you next time. All right. Thank you Bye. guys.